Recording in progress. All right, now today, as I was saying, if you know how to write the equation of lines, today is easy, all right? It is very simple. If you don't know how to write the equation of lines, we're gonna review and you'll get a little bit better at it after today. There's a few things you have to understand, all right, about writing the equations of lines and I'm going to show you because it says here, for example, number one, write the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals 3 fourths x minus 5 passing through the point negative 2, 5. That seems challenging, all right, but it's not. So the first thing I want everybody to do is to practice graphing 3 fourths x minus 5. So everybody do that. Let's see how much you remember about graphing 3 fourths x minus 5. Okay, there's that parallel line. All right, now there's the first line, sorry. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna plot the point negative two, five. Everybody plot the point negative two, five. Anybody have any issues with that? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this point that I just plotted in red so you can see the contrast. Now, if you had to draw just right now, just draw the line parallel through that point. Let's see if you can do that. All right. Draw the line that is parallel. Try that right now on your own. All right. And then you can look at mine and see if it's correct. All right. You should have drawn something like this. Remember, it's supposed to go through that point. So does that look parallel to you guys? Not exactly. Good enough? Yeah. Right, that's parallel. All right. Now, obviously, if you did something like this, that's not parallel, right? Because eventually the lines are going to cross. Parallel lines just means lines that do not intersect. All right, that actually are in the same plane, but that's for next year in geometry class. So right now, this would be a pretty good example of parallel. So what two things do I need to write an equation of a line? What two things? All right, what's one thing I need to write an equation of a line? Someone. We could have the y-intercept, but that's specific. We need a slope. Thank you. So everybody needs to write down, we have to have a slope. What else do I need? What else from yesterday? It's in one of the names of the equations. Well, y-intercept is specific, but y-intercept is a what? Point, thank you. I always need a slope and a point. I always need a slope and a point to write the equation. Everybody with me on that? Mm -hmm. So what do I have so far? What do I have so far? Nope, I don't know what the slope is. What do I have? I have a what? I have a point. Now I need the what? I need the slope, all right? So now the question is how do I find the slope? Well, this is important, all right? This line, or these two lines are parallel. I'm gonna to try to show you how close I am. Why are they parallel? What? They're right next to each other. Yes, they never intersect. They're right next to Both points are in a line with each other. Yeah, but how do they get in the line? Same plane, come on. They have the same what? They have the same slope, perfect. Parallel lines have the exact same slope. Let me say that again. You need to write that down. Make sure you know that. Parallel lines have the same slope. 
So what is the slope of the blue line? Three fourths. So what would be the slope of the red line? Three fourths. M equals three fourths. Why does that equal three fourths? Because the slope of the blue line is what? Three fourths. Okay, now someone who's brilliant can now tell me what the equation of the red line is. What is the equation of the red line? Good for you. Go. Give it a shot. How does it feel to be smart? Feels great, doesn't it? Very, very good. Very good. That's how simple this problem is. That's all there is to it. Now, does anybody look at my notes? I don't say what form to use. I don't say what form to use. So we should probably use what? The easiest form we can. And what's the easiest form? No, the easiest form is what? Point slope. Why is that the easiest? Because if I use that form, guess what? I'm done with the problem. That's how easy this problem is. I'm done. All right. So the main thing you have to know today, parallel lines have same slope. To write an equation line, I always need a point in the slope. You have to know that. All right. If you don't know that, there's trouble. You can't do the work. You must have a slope and you must have a point. If you do, you're in good shape. All right, now my question is, does anyone not understand how Jolie did that? Everybody's good. What? That's not helping me in the least. Seriously, come on, you're a... Good student. You can come up with a better question than I don't understand what you've just even said. Well, like, I, I'm confused from the start, like how you pointed to like, one of the two lines. Well, you're about a month behind. I just graphed this line. Seriously, we've been graphing a line for a month. That's this line. I use the slope and the y-intercept to graph that line. That's it. What are you asking me now? Come on, Evan. Well, how about this? When you figure out what question you want to ask me, you, you can ask me again. What? Because the question is, write the equation of line that is parallel to the given line through the given point. That's the question. This is the line. Let me say this again for Evan, too. This blue line is this line right here. I'm trying to draw the equation, or I'm trying to write the equation of the line that passes through negative two five that is parallel to this line. And that's what this red line is. That's exactly what it is, all right? So let's try number two. All right, part of the reason why I'm asking you to graph them just for extra practice because people forget, right, Evan? All right, that's why we're practicing. And, and that's not a knot, all right? That's just saying, that's what you have to do every day. So now we're going to graph number two. All right, so everybody's got to graph that point real quick. So first thing I do is go what, Evan? I'm graphing this line, Evan. Down eight, plot a point. Then from there, I go down five. Can I really go down five? I cannot go down five. So instead of going down five, I'm going to go what? Up five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I go left. How many? Seven. Now draw the line. Now, again, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm trying to get you to visualize 
what we're actually doing. All right, that is that line. This red line is this line right there. Now, I want everybody to plot the point four, two. Everybody plot the point four, two. I'm trying to write the equation of a line that's parallel to that line passing through that point. So I'm just gonna draw it, all right? Cause I know what a parallel line looks like. So I'm gonna try to draw a parallel line. There's my parallel line. Does everybody agree with that? That's parallel. Now, your job now is to calculate that line. What is the equation of that line? Good for you. Let's hear it. So y minus eight. Y minus what? Yes. Equals negative five over seven x. You are amazing. That is correct. How's it feel? Paying attention, calming down, coming to class, ready to learn. All right, that makes you smart. Everybody can do that. All right. So again, Evan, this is the point that we're referring to. And how did I get the slope? I looked at the other line. I need the other slope from the other line because they're equal. When you write parallel lines, you have equal slopes. How's that? What? Are you okay with that now? I really don't understand what I'm confused well, with the whole graphing the thing. Formula. You find like the parallel line, right? What? Trying to find the formula. I'm trying to write the equation. So then why do you need to graph the parallel line? I don't. Don't? No. Oh, okay. But you need to, obviously, because you didn't know how to graph a line. That's why I did it. For those of you guys who forgot. Right, how to graph a line. That's why I did that. Now, Evan just made a great point. If you understand, do I have to graph the line? You don't have to graph the line. You do not. All right. So, because we are brilliant, all right. On number three, Molly. What's the slope of the parallel line going to be? Yes. Do I have to say eight over one? You can, but we don't have to. Okay. So now the other thing is I want to show you what slope of the parallel. Here's another symbol for you. Watch. That's slope of the parallel line. What's the slope of the parallel line again, Molly? Eight. So now write the equation for me, Molly. Good. Amazing. That is correct. Do you have to draw the line now? No, because I tried to show you, I just was demonstrating what you're actually physically doing, all right? If you know how to graph the line, it doesn't matter to me, all right? Those graphs are there just in case you're struggling and you're not sure exactly what I'm doing, all right? Molly, that's great. What? You can draw it, yes. Uh, of course I can. What's the y-intercept? Is that what you're having trouble with? 
What's the y-intercept? I'm asking you a question. What number? No. What's the y-intercept of this line? Say it again. Zero. Very good. The y-intercept is the number after the x. Ah, now you know, right? So the y-intercept is what? From there, I go what? Yep. Then from there, I go what? And? Yes. And there you have it. Okay? All right. Good question. All right. She forgot. There's no B. So if there's no B, B is what? Zero. B is zero. Misha, you understand what I'm doing? All right, here we go. Number four. All right, let's go. Yes, I don't have to graph anymore because we're brilliant. It's y minus zero. Good. Y minus zero equals negative one over nine times x minus three. Wow, amazing. Amazing. What? No, I want. Do I have to put the zero there? No, you can just say y equals negative one ninth x minus two. You can say that. I prefer that, but I put the zero there just so you physically can see it. And you know you're right. That was easy, right? Okay, now, why do we have problems on number five? Tell me, Tyler. It's in standard form. Standard form does not give you the slope. Standard form does not give you the slope. So I have to put it in what? Um, the point thing. Y equals MX plus B. You got to put it in that format. All right, so let's practice doing that. Go, Tyler. What do I have to move? Um, um you have to um it's isn't it fine the way it is or do you have to move the three y i would move the three y because i want it to be positive right yeah so i'm going to move the three y over here and then i would move the nine over here do you agree yeah so i have three y equals what three y equals two x minus nine good now what do i do um you Remember, I want a one y. Oh, you divide by three. Divide by three. Y equals, go ahead. Y equals two thirds x um, minus three. Does this minus three have anything to do with the problem? No. no. The next thing you do is you write the slope of the parallel. What's the slope of the parallel line? Um, two, over three. two over three. Now write the equation, Tyler, go. Um, y, y minus, or wait. Yes. Y minus five equals two thirds parentheses X plus two. Brilliant, brilliant. That's it, that's it. That's all there is to it. All right, a little bit harder as we go down. What? No. What? <laughs> Say it again. Yep. You can. Right. And then what? And so what do you get? Same thing. See how you're concentrating on the negatives? I didn't concentrate on the negatives because I made the Y value positive. Then I don't have to worry about the negative. See what I'm saying? Well, if you make the Y value positive, then it makes the two. No, because I leave the two behind. I didn't move the two, I moved the three. Well, then the three is on the 
well, all I did in my head was I just did this. And then because I know it's just reverse the order, right? That's what I'm talking about, mental part. That's what I'm saying. Listen, I'm trying to help some of you guys who are trying to be really good. Mental part of math is more important sometimes. You got to be able to move numbers around. You see what I'm saying in your head? And that's what I think is critical that most kids cannot do. They have to do it one way. I want the Y value to be positive. So if it's negative, I move it. If the Y value is already positive, then I move the X. All right. So Trey, what? Number six. Not one second. I, 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 Shh. So you have to move the 5X. Good. So 9 minus 5X or Y equals 9 minus 5X. No, negative 5X plus 9. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay, so it'd be negative 5X over 4. Okay. Plus 9 over 4. Right, but... Do we really care about the y-intercept? No, I just like. So once you establish that, some of you, believe it or not, I want you to just look at that and say that's what the slope is. You don't have to do all the moving if you want. You can just say, well, I knew if I move the five and I divide by four, if I move the five, what does that become? Negative. And then I have to divide by four. So what's that become? Negative five-fourths. That's the slope. That's what I'm trying to help my out. That's what I'm trying to help all of you out with. Moving things in your head. You don't have to write all the work out. You know you're moving the X and dividing by four. So now the slope of the parallel is what? So now write the equation quickly. Y plus two equals negative five over four X minus X. Easy, easy, easy. Simple. All right, here we go. Now, let's practice. Everybody, put your pencils down. Look up on the board. All right, look up, look up, look up. I want everyone to be able to tell me, obviously, the slope of the parallel line is. Now, think it through. All right, obviously, the slope of the parallel line is what? Evan. What? Shh, just don't listen to anybody else. All right? Probably 90% chance that your grade's better than them. So go with what you think. I don't care if it's wrong. What is the slope? Negative two would be the y-intercept. I'm interested in the slope. Josh, what was the slope? Reese, negative eight fifths, negative eight fifths. Everybody's got to practice that. If you can't see that, you're way behind. Now, do I want the Y value to be positive or negative? So I move the Y value. Do I care about the 10 at all? No, because I'm only interested in the slope. So if I move the negative five, it becomes what? positive five. So now I have five Y. Am I allowed to have five Y? So I have to divide by five. So the slope of the parallel line is negative eight over five. So Ms. Curlin, what is the equation? You are amazing. Simple, simple and simple. All right, easy. Now, if those of you guys are going, man, I just can't do that in my head, you just need the what? You just need to practice. All right, you need to practice. All right, does anybody have any trouble telling me that the slope is negative eight fifths? All right, here we go. Next, parallel, 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 parallel. Okay, now we're going to jump down to perpendicular. We're jumping down to perpendicular. All right, so obviously, when we draw this line, three fourths, X minus five, we go to negative five, we go up three and over four. And then I draw this line. 
Now, who can tell me what does perpendicular mean? Flush. Who can tell me what perpendicular means? Go. Wow. At a. Wow. Crossing at a 90 degree angle. So here we go. I'm going to try to draw the perpendicular now. Everybody's looking up. I'm trying to draw the perpendicular. So far, does that look perpendicular? Does that look perpendicular? Now, let me see. That looks pretty perpendicular right there. I'm pretty happy with that. Are the slopes the same? Come on, are the slopes the same? No. Definitely not, definitely not. The pink line, the slope is what? Is it positive or negative? Positive. positive, so the blue line is, come on Eddie, stay focused. The blue line is what? So now anytime you wanna tell me about perpendicular lines, the slopes are always opposites. If one is positive, the perpendicular would be what? If the slope is negative, the perpendicular is going to be. So now it's just one little rule that I can teach you in trig or maybe in pre-calculus why that's true. But right now you just have to accept this fact that it's true. Perpendicular lines, when they intersect, their slopes are negative reciprocals. Their slopes are negative reciprocals. So someone who knows what I'm talking about since they understand math, all right, what would be the slope of the blue line? If you think you, what? Say it again, say it, I'm listening. Why are you giving me right answers today? I was going to beat you with the strike. He did. <laughs> Thank you. Hit him for me, too. All right. So now, again, wow, Jackson. Jackson, come on now. Don't stop. You've got like two right today. Okay. So let's go for a record here. Let's go for a record. So now the slope is negative four thirds. So here's how we write the slope of the perpendicular. That's the symbol. Slope of the perpendicular is as he stated negative four thirds. Do I care about the y-intercept? I could care less about the y-intercept. All right, now let's see if Jackson can set his own personal best. We want the equation of the line here, Jackson, go. Shh, shh. Stop putting him in pressure here. Come on, go. Y minus five equals negative four over three in parentheses, <laughs> x plus three. Wow, how good am I? You're good. I am so You're great. Sure. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, and thank you. All right, I am so proud of myself. So proud. All right, here we go. So again, is there really any difference? The equation is the same. All right, the equation is the same. When I say parallel, the slopes are equal. When I say perpendicular, the slopes are negative reciprocals. All right, every single time. And then in order to write the equation of line, you need a point and a slope. All right, so Avery, you're up. Number 13, tell me what the slope of the perpendicular is. No, you can tell me, look up on the board, and you can tell me what's this slope of this line right here. Shh, shh, shh. I mean it, guys. Yeah, you do. Then slope, there's a number in front of the X, remember? So then the slope of the perpendicular. No, that's, come on now, look back up here, what he said. This is the slope. Yes, except it's not negative, it would be what? Seven over five, because they're always opposite signs. Come on now, Avery. You good with that now? All right. What? Avery. So what point, now you're gonna write the equation. Good. Shh. 
Good. Amazing. Perfect. Molly, go. I can't. Because remember, the reciprocal and then opposite signs. So in this case, guys, Eddie, you guys, really, don't distract me anymore. You see what I'm saying? If one's negative, the other one is what? Positive. That's what negative means. It doesn't mean that it's automatically negative. The negative means it's the opposite sign. That's just for perpendicular. Parallel, same, perpendicular, negative reciprocals. Misha. Yes, go. What's the slope of the perpendicular? I didn't hear you. That wasn't a reciprocal. Eight, now listen to me. Again, that's a common mistake. Eight is what fraction? Eight over what? Shh, let her, leave her alone. So what's the perpendicular then? What kind of one eight? Negative one eight. All right, there you have it. Now write the equation. Amazing, easy guys, I'm telling you it's easy. Pay attention, stay focused. Some of you are finally doing better, all right? Now you gotta stay focused, right? No daydreaming. All right, what? No. All right, let me see what's hard. All right, so uh, tell me, 15, you can do 16. Shh, go. So it's y equals... Shh, just come on. Parentheses x minus two. What's the slope of the perpendicular? Huh? Oh, oh never mind. Nope. No. Oh, one. What is it? That's what I'm saying. Details now. Nine. Nine. Yeah, so Not negative. negative. You said negative. Oh. oh you said negative. No, I didn't. I said the signs are always opposite. So if the slope here is negative, the perpendicular will be what? Positive. So now stop telling me what you thought and give me the answer now it's nine so it's equal y equals nine parentheses x minus two perfect y equals nine parentheses x minus two all right miss appleton what's the problem with 16 please so now we're practicing first everyone write down m equals i got to calculate this slope right here which is mental math all right, so you're practicing that. Even if you're not good at it, that's okay. You're practicing, all right? So I want you to tell me what the slope of that line is. Nope, try again, shh. Is the M, is the Y positive or negative? Yeah, we're aware of that. Just tell me the answer now. Because um, what do I have to move? So, That's correct, because I want it to be positive. Yeah. Now what? What's the slope? So that becomes 3y over here. Yeah. Now I want a 1y. Yes, very good. So what's the slope? Two thirds, kiddo. That's how easy. Everybody should be getting better at that. Does that make sense, Josh? Does that make sense? All right. So now once you have that, slope of the perpendicular is what? Negative three over two. So what's the equation? Shh. You're amazing. Josh, let's go. 17. Now again, you have to write slope of the parallel or slope of the line first. So number 17, M equals beautiful. Slope of the perpendicular. Equation of the line.
Now, look, guys, I, I keep saying it's easy, right? It, it's really not that hard. It's not. All right. What? <laughs> well, I'm not there yet. What, Maya? All right. What's wrong with 22? I was just asking, do you put the one? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. So everybody look at 22. What's the slope of that line? What is it? One. one. The slope is one. Does everybody agree with that? Come on, MM. I'm watching. Slope is one. Anybody have an issue with that? So the slope of the perpendicular would be? No. Negative one. So the equation, Luca, what? That's amazing. All right, let me see if there's something else I want to look at. Parallel, perpendicular, parallel, perpendicular, parallel, perpendicular. That's it. All right. Somebody flip through these now. All right, find something you're not sure about. Go. 20. I'm on 20. Going back to 20. Oh, oh yes. Thank you for finding that. All right. So here, special case. So everybody's got to be able to tell me, what does the graph y equals nine look like? What horizontal? So what's perpendicular to a horizontal? Vertical. And how do I write the equation of vertical? X equals, what's the X coordinate? You are amazing. Look how easy that is, right? Vertical lines are x equals, horizontals are y equals. Again, if you don't know that, you have to just write yourself a note there. The x value is negative two. All right, what if I said, what is uh, perpendicular number 21? X equals negative two is a what kind of line? Vertical. vertical. So what's perpendicular to a vertical? Horizontal. Y equals, yeah, if you know, you don't even have to really think about it. That's what I'm trying to just, uh, explain to some of you. Finally, you're catching on. You got to do the work. You got to pay attention. Ask questions when you don't know something. All right, and be alert. And no daydreaming. Y equals five. That's excellent. All right, so now someone else flip through. If you think there's any doubt in your mind, flip through and try to find something you think might be a little challenging. And then you can ask me a question before the bell rings. Yeah, you, oh yes, this is your homework. All of this, all of it. What else? Anybody, anybody have any doubts? All right, guys, super happy. Finish the whole thing. All you have to do is write in point slope form. That makes it easy for you. You're welcome. You're welcome.